Nigerians who are intending to join the Japa syndrome have been advised to learn, do their research from those who have already traveled out, as it is not always greener in other places. This advice was given by author and poet Maggie Ofoha while speaking to West journalist on the sideline of a book presentation, Returning to Where I Belong, Dark Shadow on My Past and Poetry for Thoughts. Chairperson of Lagos Chambers of Commerce and Industry, Creative and Entertainment Sector, Dr. Ngozi Omambala shared in the sentiments of Ofoa, explaining that there is a lot Nigerians can rationalize about themselves. I know people want to jabber for reasons, economic reasons. The same reason why we left the shores of Nigeria. The condition didn't change. People are still struggling, hungry, everybody still wants to run away. Who doesn't want to run away to a better place? So you cannot blame them. But what I'm saying, um, the thing you're running to may not be as fancy as you see it. The place you're running away from may even be better. So some people are learning the, their bones is scattered all over Mediterranean, Sahara Desert. Learn from them. Then no, it's, no, it's not always fancy. Yeah, some people go and make it. Many don't make it. So don't worry when we come back here with tell one dollar and change it to 2,000 naira and we are living big. Don't let that deceive you. <laughs> there are so, a lot of problems you encounter when you go there. When I was coming to Nigeria in 2007, my counterparts in the UK would say, Ngozi, you're going the wrong way. People are leaving Nigeria and you're coming. But you know, 70 years down the line, who would have thought that our creative and entertainment industry would be so powerful and has exploded? So I think um, we have a lot to, to think about in terms of really, really kind of like honoring our own heritage and building from that and making it into a business because now, Nigeria is known for its creative, music, fashion, film. We're exporting, it's part of our tourism now. And so we have to really respect and appreciate what we have at home, not necessarily look outside. Othoha, who took quite the reading culture in Nigeria, took a swipe at parents for leaving their children at the mercy of technology. Oh, we don't read. We're sorry, Nigeria. You will see men, men, learned men, Oh, we are healthcare workers, we are business people, we don't read. And I was discouraged, so but, uh, I kept going, because I know that someday things will change. And uh, our children need to know our history. How will you know your history if you don't study literature? You know what I mean? And it said uh, a country that don't know their history is doomed, right? And uh, another thing, I learned that uh, I don't know if Nigerian universities, they do, or schools, elementary school, high school, they, if they do teach history, um, if something happens and it's not recorded, what do we do? It's shoved under the carpet. The white man writes our history for us. And that's not, that needs to be changed. From a political sphere, personal, in the house, you get an idea of why the mindset is as it is. From colonialism, going right through to present day politics, and in-house fighting, corruption, all of these areas come into, come into play. So for me, I think it's, it's really important. I think we need to really address the scenarios, these situations, and make sure that our education um, syllabuses are really quite relevant to what's happening currently. Now, children are very, very lousy when it comes to reading. They want to Google everything that comes out. We don't want them, if you buy a textbook at the end of the day, the teacher will ask you, it's very, very important and mandatory to buy a textbook. Now, what do they do with the textbook? They park the textbook, they don't allow the children to read. Now, it is very, very, very disheartening. I want to talk to you, are that spirit of learning, that reading culture, which really made a lot of people, Chimam, uh, Chino Achebe, Chimam Amanda, Wole Soyinka, these people are not people that felt by the advent of social media. They went through reading, and they inculcated that culture of reading, and uh, believe that they have to read to study and understand, be able to inspire their generation. Let us bring it back to these new generations.